This nigga k Dog got a six minute song about me, so I gotta respond in the right way, you know what I'm saying? Bumba clock. <laughs> Uh, caught you on the track, you claiming king, but this ain't chess K-Dot, you drop euphoria, thinking you wear the vest You talk of love and hate like it's a game where you the ref But when the smoke clears, it's only your shadow that's left I see you throwing shade like evenings in the west Passing through your lines, but in this booth, I'm unimpressed You talk AI, but it's your authenticity at question You're the puppet, I'm Geppetto, pulling strings, just take the lesson You hit the booths with fury, all that rage that you low. But it's just noise, Kenny Worth, that depth that you show You took a jab at AI Pac, you said I made him roll but Remember when I moved the crowd without needing to clone? You rally up the troops, even got Metro on the loop But even what they beat, you can't disguise the bit of truth I'm ten toes down from the six, repping all my roots While you just chasing the crown, but got no kingdom to rule Wait a minute! Just wait a minute, hold on a second. Now you probably realize that this is not the real Drake, but because he's such a big fan of AI as we've seen, I thought to myself, what would Drake do to respond to this track? So I decided to open up ChatGPT and make an AI ghostwriter that's going to respond directly to Kendrick's track using data that I've trained from all the articles, all the songs, all the beef and the background and the timelines. And I'll show you how I did this, but first we're gonna need a beat. So I have a rough draft of what the beat's gonna sound like now. We're gonna have to create our own GPT model that's going to respond to Kendrick. We're gonna do this by training it with data on the internet from articles that explains the beef to their songs. We have to feed it the meat so that when we get to writing our lyrics, it knows exactly what to pull from and what to say, hopefully. So I'm gonna go to explore GPTs right here and we're gonna click create in the top right corner. So what would I like to make? Well, make a clone of the musical rap artist Drake who writes diss rap songs in response to his arch nemesis, Kendrick Lamar. I really wonder if this is gonna work. I haven't tried this before, so I have no idea what's gonna come of this. Great choice. <laughs> How about we call this GPT Drake diss writer? Does that work for you? No, let's go with Drake's ghost writer <laughs> look at the explanation i write diss rap songs as drake targeting kendrick lamar <laughs> bro this is tight what specific aspects of drake's lyrical style or themes would you like to emphasize in the diss tracks i would like to emphasize metaphors similes and clever rhyme schemes in these diss tracks while also using tons of rapper slang. Now that we've tailored the GPT to emphasize metaphors, similes, clever rhyme schemes, and rapper slang, how do you want it to handle any ambiguous requests or unclear instructions? Should it ask for clarification or make a best guess based on typical rap themes? Ask for clarification. Great, Drake's Ghostwriter will ask for clarification to ensure it understands the request properly. How would you like Drake's Ghostwriter to address you and others in the conversation? More formally, casually, or in a style that matches the rap persona? In a style that matches the rap persona. This is gonna be great. I, I feel like this is gonna be great. As long as we train it with the data, I think we'll get a pretty accurate depiction of uh, Drake. All set, Drake's Ghost Rider will talk in a casual, rap-inspired style, keeping things cool and in character. Feel free to give it a try in the preview to see how it performs. I'm here to listen to any refinements you have. What do you think? I think that sounds great. Let's go to configure, and here is where we're gonna give it all this specific data 
that we want to give it. So this is the instructions. This GPT named Drake's Ghostwriter embodies the persona of the music rap artist Drake, focusing on crafting this rap songs, targeting his arch nemesis Kendrick Lamar. It provides creative lyrical sp responses, mimicking Drake's style using metaphors, similes, and clever rhyme schemes, along with rapper slang. It will ask for clarification on ambiguous requests to align closely with user intent. The interactions maintain a playful rap battle style, addressing users casually in a manner consistent with Drake's rap persona persona and it says avoiding real animosity or offensive content but let's be real this is a diss song so we want to totally dive into the animosity and the offense you know we're not here to play games we're here to help drake write his diss song because he obviously loves to use ai he obviously loves ghostwriters so we need all the smoke so under knowledge here's where we're going to upload some files let's go to pages and I'm going to turn these into like, I guess, PDFs. And we're just going to title this Drake and Kendrick Lamar's Rocky Relationship Explained. All right, let's copy this. We'll paste this here. Take out all the little links and stuff that they have. All right, now let's save this export to PDF. Boom, there's our first file. The full timeline of Kendrick versus Drake beef. We're just going to train it with all this data. Even if it is talking about the same thing, I'm going to copy and paste all that stuff in here just so we have more information, more data to go off of. Because the more we feed it, the more accurate it's going to be. I, I'm even going to feed it some of the songs so that I can get, really get the tone of Drake's rap songs. This part is a little bit tedious because you have to pull so much data. So this is the boring part of everything, but I'll fast forward through so you guys can get straight to when I upload all this data and then we'll start to write our rap song. So we have about 18 to 20 articles that we have uploaded to our chat GPT model. So let's give it a test just to make sure that it works. Who all is involved in the beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar? Beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar involves several major artists and music producers. Here's a breakdown on the key figures involved. Drake and Kendrick Lamar, they are central figures in the feud, which has escalated through various diss tracks and public statements. J. Cole, initially mentioned as part of the big three. This is crazy, bro. With Drake and Kendrick, J. Cole has also been targeted in diss tracks by Kendrick. He released a diss track of his own, which he later regretted and removed from streaming platforms. Future and Metro Boom and Kendrick used their track like that to launch a lyrical assault on Drake. This is insane. So I hope that all the information that we gave it, like this is great for like the informational aspect of this whole feud and understanding what's going on. But I want this to be able to respond to Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria song. Write a diss verse about Kendrick Lamar in response to his song euphoria but use every bit of knowledge you have and respond accordingly please make sure it is relevant to only the information provided use any and all of the references in your database including the other artists involved other songs and lyrics from previous disses in the tone of Drake. Make sure that the song is coming from a standpoint of attack. Personal attack to Kendrick Lamar. Have a victorious tone. Yo, this is actually kind of fire. You talk about love and hate, it's a game where you the ref. But when the smoke clears, it's just your shadow that's left. I see you throwing shade like late evenings in the West. Pacing through your lines, but in this booth, I'm unimpressed. Talking about AI, but it's your authenticity I question. You're the puppet, I'm Geppetto. Just pulling strings in this session. <laughs> You rally up the troops, you got Metro on the loop. But even with their beats, can't disguise the bitter truth. I'm ten toes down from the six, repping my roots. While you chase the crown, but got no kingdom to rule. This is kind of insane. This is kind of insane. Hey yo, uh, six god. I guess it's a battle, right? 
I do this one for Toronto. This nigga K Dog got a six minute song about me, so I gotta respond in the right way, you know what I'm saying? Bum a clock. Uh, uh. Caught you on the track, you claim me king, but this ain't chess. K Dot, you drop euphoria thinking you wear the vest. You talk of love and hate like it's a game where you the ref. But when the smoke clears, it's only your shadow that's left. I see you throwing shade like evenings in the West. Passing through your lines, but in this booth, I'm unimpressed. You talk AI, but it's your authenticity at question. You're the puppet, I'm Geppetto pulling strings, just take the lesson. You hit the booths with fury, all that rage that you unload. But it's just noise, Kenny, words that depth that you show. You took a jab at AI Pac, you said I made him roll. But remember when I moved the crowd without needing to clone? You rally up the troops, even got Metro on the loop. But even what they beat, you can't disguise the bit of truth. I'm ten toes down from the six, repping all my roots. While you just chasing the Crown, but got no kingdom to rule. I'm the North Star, I last your temporary flicks. You talk big game, you hide behind those cinematic tricks. This ain't about East to West, it's about the lyrics to stick. And I'll be here making hits while you just making conflicts. You dissed my walk, my talk, little nigga, you shit. You words like the way Titanic, I'm sinking this ship. You the biggest hater, let me give you another tip. You can hate on me all day, but it's my name that's on your lips. Keep me for your Kendrick while I write more anthems at last. Cause every diss you rap adds more fuel to my craft. I'm built for all these battles from the first to the last while you shadow box. And throwing punches on the past And when I teach my son to pray Forgive them, they don't know what they know I'm just here passing through to you yeah. uh. Back in the booth with truths that you can't handle You aimed at the king but missed Your sparks ain't no candle Your shots, they echo like whispers all up in the chapel My words, they pierce heavy artillery, no shrapnel you claim to stand alone, but Kenny, where's your army? I'm responsible for all your favorites from the weekend to Cardi. You diss my ties, but without your squad, you're hardly more than just a voice fading fast at the after party. Look, this layers to this complex like a Rubik's. You never made a classic, all your albums got too many skips. You said I make lightweight music, but it moves ships. Platinum plaques on the wall, your arguments just loose slips. Euphoria is more like a euphemism for the feeling you get when you come back, start to miss them. I'm the topic of your lines, your focus, your vision, but I'm over here when and driven by precision uh. Metro laughed it off, guess your bars weren't hitting I ride my own ways while you just tired sitting So next time you come at the six, guy better be fitting Cause it's rap games are thrown and I'm nowhere near quitting Each line's a heavyweight, knock you out like Ali You shadow boxing demons while I bask in the Grammys So here's a toast to the ghost you chase, it's so uncanny Living rent free in your head, now who's the king of the city? And when I teach my son to pray, forgive them They don't know what they do you getting body by a singing nigga When I teach my son to pray Forgive them, they don't know what they do I'm just here passing through to you <laughs> Drake, Drizzy <laughs> I'm not even a Drake fan But this was very fun to do This was very fun to make this song called Forgive Them is the official response to Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria. No, it's not. Don't quote me on that. Please don't sue me. I'm not putting this song out. Don't send me a cease and desist. I'm just having fun here um, showing what AI is capable of and probably what Drake is doing right now trying to respond to this Kendrick Lamar record. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching. This was very fun to do. Pretty awesome for like minimal human input in terms of like me writing the song. Um, if you guys think it's dope, let me know. If you think it's trash, let me know. If you think at least the beat was good, let me know. Cause I pretty, I like the beat myself. I mean, I am the producer, but that's it guys. Uh, have fun. We'll actually wait for the, the real response from Mr. Canadian bacon who got fried by Kendrick Lamar. We'll see what he has to say, but, uh, in the meantime, you can play this. So that's it. Stay legendary y'all. Peace. This nigga K-Dog got a six minute song about me. So I got to respond in the right way.